Hey gang, it's David again, back with another uh, Oxygen tutorial. We are going to create uh, something that I call like a portfolio hover uh, effect. As you can see, whenever I hover over any of these uh, portfolio items, well, we can see that um, we got this like a slide, maybe not slide in, like fly in and rotate uh, like a um, container with the uh, with a title of our of our project and of course it's all done using just oxygen builder without any uh, custom uh, css it's all done using uh, oxygen builder uh, built-in tools so without uh, further ado let's get started so basically what we have here is a column on the left with our logo navigation and some information hidden here at the bottom and on the right i'm just gonna add a repeater very very quickly and uh, I'm gonna go to query custom and then I'm gonna choose my portfolio category and I'm gonna grab my main div and I'm gonna go to background and I'm gonna choose the featured image as my well main post image and of course I want to set it to cover and then I'm gonna go ahead and choose left and top 50% and I'm also going to go to size and spacing and choose min height to 300 pixels. And I'm going to make sure that the width is set to 100% just to be on the safe side uh, as usual. So now I'm going to enable the grid, grid. So I'm going to grab the repeater, grid layout. And if you don't know how to use the grid here inside the oxygen, you can watch my video on just that. So for the column count, I'm going to choose six. And I'm just going to do a quick little mosaics so i'm just going to do four for the column span two for the row span then maybe this guy is going to span like this and these guys i'm going to set them to basically uh 50 and these guys basically to 33 percent just so we have something something like this so within this container div i'm going to add another div so this div is going to be hosting our heading so i'm going to add it real quick and i want to insert data i want it to be our title and i want to change its color to this wider color and maybe i'm going to change the font size to something like 32 i know you cannot see it right now but that's about to change i mean it's barely visible and now i'll maybe add a simple class to my container i'm just going to call it maybe like effects add class so what I want to do now is I want to tell this parent container that uh, when I hover over it, I want this effects uh, div to be uh, affected. So I'm going to grab my parent container. I'm going to go to state and I'm going to choose add state like this. So I'm going to say right now, if I hover over this guy, I want this effects class to be affected. And uh, what I want to do right now is I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm kind of going to work my way backwards, which means that uh, I'm going to set the width to 100%. And then I'm going to go to the size and spacing. I'm going to make sure that the height is set to 100% as well. Then I'm going to go to primary and I want to lay out the horizontal. Well, I want to lay out the elements uh, to the center. I want to move them to the center just like that. And I'm also going to set up the image overlay color. I'm going to make it uh, this black, but with some transparency, something like this. So when now we hover over this guy, you can see that you now with this parent container, we can see that we all of a sudden have our, uh, how, have our background. We have our uh, title being displayed like this. But uh, we could also go to, our, uh, to the advanced panel. I'm going to go to effects opacity i'm going to set it to one and i'm also going to grab my this uh, this effects div and uh, when uh, when nothing is hovered i want to hide it so i'm going to go to effects again opacity and i'm going to set it to zero so right now when we hover over it you know i mean we don't see that uh, that uh, well initial title but when we hover over our parent container we got our project being displayed so so far so good um but uh, I don't like the fact that this change is so abrupt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over uh, to this uh, effects panel again and add a transition. It doesn't have to be too long. I guess 0 0.4 would be fine. Maybe we could add like a ease in 
out transition, which basically is going to mean that it's uh, that this transition is going to be fast at the beginning and at the end. So what I want to do now is uh, I want to add like a like a transformation to our uh, this well no, this effect div. So maybe for now I'm just going to bring the opacity back to one so we can see it. So right now we can really you know let our creative juices flow. We can do whatever we want. We can set like the image overlay color to something like black, but with some transparency as well, maybe even a bit lighter transparency, something like this. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to go to advanced size and spacing, and I'm going to do 100 width and height, and I'm going to set it to the center if we want to. But the most important part here would be to add like an effect, like a transform effect. So I'm going to choose scale and I'm going to make it something ridiculous like five maybe. And uh, as you can see, I forgot about quite an important thing. Right now, everything is overflowing in our document. So in order to, you know, constrain this whole effect to our uh, well parent container, I'm going to go to my div. I'm going to make sure that I have the original state selected. I'm going to go to layout and choose overflow hidden. And now I'm going to grab this effects uh, class. And now if I go back to my opacity and set it to zero, if we now hover over it, you can see that we got this funky looking effect uh, like this. But of course, what we want is we want this guy to look, uh, you know, as intended. I mean, we don't want this project eight to be, well, this big or any title for that matter. So I'm going to go back to my div, go back to my hover effects, and I'm simply going to have to add the transform effect to my like hover state and I'm going to choose scale and I'm just going to choose one and one and you can see that we have this kind of an uh, effect going on right here and of course we could add something more so let's say that um, let's let's add a rotation so angle is going to be zero uh, when we you know when we hover over it but our main class when you go, go to advanced effects, transform, and we add a rotation. Let's add, I don't know, 360. So you can now see that it's actually spinning around and jumping, jumping in like so. We could also maybe, I don't know, have some fun with, um, let's see, let's do something like rotate 3D. So I'm going to go with like, I don't know, 50. I'm not really sure what it's going to do. So <laughs> let's do 150. Uh, maybe let's, I don't know, change the angle to 32, whatever. Uh, it's not much really happening. So like, as you can see, it's just a matter of, of uh, experimentation. We can do some really, really funky, funky, funky effects. And I'm going to maybe save this guy just so I don't lose it. And I'm going to go uh, to my uh, to my site, to my page to see what it looks like. So as you can see, this is our effect. Maybe it's a bit too much for me, too <laughs> much for my eyes. But I mean... You can you can basically do whatever you want, and we didn't write a single line of code like custom CSS, but we got the, the, these really nicely transforming like a title a title effects. So I guess the major takeaway from this tutorial is that you can use like custom states uh, right here. You can add your own state, and uh, you know whenever you add a state like this, just remember that you can use classes. You can also use IDs if you want to. Basically, what we are saying here is that when you hover over this container, we're going to be affecting something that you know comes after this uh, hover declaration uh, right here. So yeah, I hope that this was fun uh, for you. I hope that you learned a thing or two. And uh, you know, if you if you like the video, just hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you don't want to subscribe to the channel, that's okay too. Anyway, uh, as always, until next time, have a nice design.